so what's up what's good what is going on it's me kitty on a leash and i'm here with a horror manga review and that manga is portus story and art by june abe portus tells the story of asami she is a high school student in an art class and her best friend chiharu happens to kind of just go missing. The past couple of days she's been withdrawn. She's been talking about this video game that she's been obsessed with called Portis. But once she goes missing and then she doesn't go to class and then they find that she committed suicide, Asami knows that something is definitely wrong. She goes over to her parents' house to pay respects and they knew that the two girls were pretty close and they ask Chaharu to go ahead and Take a look around her bedroom for any clues that could indicate why this sudden suicide happened. She seemed to be having a good life and in the past couple of days or so she just gotten very withdrawn from everyone and everything around her. Sami goes looking around her room and she finds the video game Portis in all its glory sitting in the game console and she decides to take this game and figure out what exactly was so addicting to this video game. She takes the game home, decides to go ahead and play it to crack the code on why this video game was so addicting and if it might have any clues as to what actually happened to her best friend. Asami and Chiharu were like this. They were close buds. They had the same art class, same art professor and everything. So she recruits the help of her art teacher, Kaigo, who has also heard of this Portis game. Portis is a video game that is said to have a secret hidden level that if a player reaches that hidden level, they die. Asami speaks to Kaigo, which is her art instructor teacher, about this game Portis. And apparently Portis is a pretty popular video game because Kaigo said that he used to actually game on it with his friends when he was younger. So this mysterious game, they said it had a hidden level, but he never reached it. It's just all an urban legend. <laughs> Right? Asami pushes forward, starts playing Portis, and starts to kind of get really into the game. At first, it's just a simple platformer. It's like, okay, you know, cool, nothing too much crazy going on there. But then, she hits a hidden level while she's asleep. And this game, it's cursed. Crazy things start to happen to her and the world around her. The video game of Portis is a cursed video game and it's said that there's a hidden level that when someone reaches that level they die. Asami is very determined to find out exactly what happened to her friend Chiharu so she dives deeper and deeper into the video game and eventually this cursed game starts blending into her actual life, her reality. The story of Portis is pretty simple but it really dives into getting a little bit more complex and it really taps into a world that's been pretty unknown and pretty rare. You have your main character, Asami. She's trying to figure out what happened to her best friend, Chiharu, and she picks up a video game. That's all she knows or remembers about her last days is that she was just so obsessed with this video game. And it's interesting to see how the game takes, blends into her life. This is a very cursed, evil game. Without spoiling too much, the game was produced in a very easy way. There's a lot of backstory there. Um, this manga is a bit of a ghost story. It's definitely horror. And it's definitely a very unique take to it, too. As Asami dives deeper and deeper into this video game, and she gets, she gets sucked into this world and tries to and it happens to kind of get a little bit more deeper and deeper into the meaning. Um, in the game, there's a little boy that approaches her, and he asks her uh, a pretty serious question. She says, I don't know, she kind of goes along with it. You kind of see his reality. You know that something's up with this little kid, um, and without spoiling too much, like he's kind of like the whole backbone of this whole Portis world. It's really deep. There's a lot of scary stuff that happens it's a lot of mystery. It gives it gave me vibes of like the ring, like that kind of trying to figure out what this thing is before it gets to you, before it totally consumes you and just tears your whole world apart. You kind of have that feeling throughout the whole manga. This is a one-shot manga. I read this and my mind was just blown. Like I loved 
everything about it. I love the story, I love the art, I love the pacing. The characters in this manga definitely do make the story. Asami is just your concerned everyday type of girl who is really genuinely concerned about her best friend. Like she goes through these great lengths to understand what happened to her. And she also has the help of two of her teachers. One is Kiego, he is the art instructor and professor to both of the girls and he wants to help. He wants to be involved. He doesn't know exactly what happened to one of his favorite students and he's there to crack the code especially since this whole mystery revolves around a video game that he had played in his younger years. He has some familiarity with it. There's also another teacher that gets sucked into trying to help crack the code of all of this and her name is Yamashita. Now Yamashita, she has a backstory of her own. Um, she had a family member that had gotten just so totally involved in the video game Portis as well. So there's a connection there. These teachers and this girl are just trying to really crack the code behind Portis and set free whatever they can and stop this curse from happening. This is an amazing read. I definitely recommend you go check it out. Um, if you're a horror fan, you're going to love it. If you're a thriller fan, you're going to love it. It's a very, very good manga. The pacing is well. The story is well. Um, nothing was really left too open-ended. Everything wraps up very nicely, and it is definitely a good read. Um, was it terrifying? Not so much. Was it creepy? Heck yeah! Portis deals with a lot of topics, a lot of heavy, heavy topics, a lot of heavy life topics. Um, there's a tragedy that happens, and when the tragedy is uncovered, it's just like, oh my god. I was kind of freaking out a little bit once I learned what actually happened. On a scale of 1 through 5, Portis definitely gets a 4.5 out of 5. I don't think there were too many things wrong with this manga. The only thing I wanted was more. If I could have a little bit more of the story, a little bit more of the element, like I wish it just wasn't, I wish it just wasn't like more than this because the story was just so good. So that was my review for the manga Portis. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like me to check out next and hopefully we'll be having a lot more other horror mangas to review. Alright, bye guys!